Good morning. Good morning. God bless you this morning. Welcome to the True Life International Fellowship Ministries Sunday morning edition. For this is the day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing. We are grateful, and we are glad to be alive. We are grateful for you tuning in with us on this morning. Another exciting word. We were built for this. When the enemy tries to come in like a flood, know that we were built for this. When the enemy tries to tell you you cannot make it, you are built for this. And the naysayers come up against you, not to take your life. You were built for this. I got somebody to put that in the comment section to know that you are built for it. <laughs> in Jesus' name. <laughs> come on, let's worship the Lord. International Fellowship, Glory to God Ministries, Sunday morning edition. Sunday morning. We are excited about Sunday morning. We are excited, Glory to God, that God has allowed us to come to another whole week. Glory to God. And we give God praise. We give God glory. Yes. We look to the Lord. Good morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. I believe there's supernatural increase. Yes. I believe that God is going to do just what he said. Yes. Glory to God, he is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man, yes. that he should have to repent. If God said it, God it said shall it. come to pass. I thank God for Sunday morning. Amen, we're gonna yes. ask if you don't mind, let's share the broadcast on this morning. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Again, another exciting yes. word for the body, for the people yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. You and I are built for this. Good morning, Apostle. Good morning. God bless you. We are built, hallelujah, for this. Listen, I'm excited this morning even the more that we have an awesome glory to God speaker. Amen. Our very own elect lady Hawkins will be bringing forth well, this word on today. Yay. Glory yay. to God. I'm excited about that. Amen. I'm excited about glory to God as God is doing, amen, doing exceedingly doing abundantly all God that we is, can ask, think, or imagine, knowing the power that worketh on the inside. You and I were built for this. It doesn't matter what you've gone through. Yes. It don't matter what it looked like. 
Glory to God, you Amen. were Amen. built for this. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, we come right now, God. Thank you for Holy Ghost boldness. Lord, we thank you, God, for the activities I live. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do. Speak through the woman servant on today. Lord, use her like never before. Lord God, help her, Lord God, to share a word that's going to encourage, yes. that's going to provoke, but also that's going to illuminate, amen, in our lives, God. We thank you, Lord God. Why? Because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man what you have in store for the people of God. Lord, we thank you that we are thank built you. for this, that we are ready to flow and go in you. Father, in Jesus' name Jesus. we pray. <coughs> Amen. God bless Amen. you. Amen. <coughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you this morning. Let us prepare to read the word on this morning. Amen. <coughs> we are so excited. Amen. That you are here today. Amen. And to just uh, an encouraging word during these times that you were built for this. Yes. Amen. The path to victory. And our scripture reading is coming from Proverbs, the 24th chapter and the 10th verse. It says, if thou faint <clears throat> in the day of adversity, yes. thy strength is small. Mm. And so today we're living in an unprecedented time, a time of crisis and calamity, yes. and catastrophe and difficulties and devastation and disappointment, despair and even death. There's trouble and trials and tribulations, but God is 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 so wonderful. Yes, he it's is. so powerful. He wants yes, you he to is. know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you've experienced during this time, that you were built for this. Come on, come on. My you God. were built to outlast your past. Come on. Whoa, say that again. You were built to Whoa, outlast my your God. past. God. Wow, what an amazing word. No wow, matter what you've gone through before. Yeah. Hallelujah. You are going to be, you are more than a conqueror. Yeah. See, the enemy wants to destroy your faith. Mm. He wants to destroy your trust, your belief, and your confidence in God. Uh -huh. He wants to lose despair. He wants to lose hope. He wants to make you become faint. But the devil is a liar. Come on, come John on. John 10 and 10, you know what it says. Can you read that, Apostle Hawkins? The thief comes not but to steal, mm -hmm. kill, and to destroy. But he said, I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. You are an overcomer. I don't care what you're going through. You come are on. a subduer. Come on. You are a you are victorious and you are not a victim. Wow, this is good. You are not a victim. Yes. But you are victorious. You are triumphant. Yes. You are successful. Ah, my You God. are prosperous even in a pandemic. Come on, that's good. That's good. And one thing about this, you are a winner. Mmm. Now oh, we God. may we may have our different ways of seeing what a winner is, but if you six feet above the ground, you a winner. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you know your Lord and Savior, you're a winner. You are a winner. That's and if right. you don't know him today, you get to know him, you're a winner. That's right. Come on. That's because good. you are built for this. This My is God. your time. This is your season yeah. to break through. Come on. Flow, honey. Flow. Flow. See, God had to break off some stuff in us. Come on. Come See, on. There was some pre-corona stuff that we was doing. Come on. Amen. That really wasn't working. We was hiding come and sliding and come slipping. On. If you, you don't know, come dipping. on in here. Amen. But God is saying in this season, in you are built season. for this. Yes. That's right. Come on. You can make it. Oh, Hallelujah. my God. Look at him. You can make it. You can make it. Ooh, We're living in a testing time. Come on. Many of us have faced difficulties, sustained heavy losses through this coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And some of us even thought that it would take us out. Come on. We didn't know what was going on. My God. But God. But God. We had a but God. Uh, <laughs> God gave us an opportunity to, to say good. that we were built for this. Yes. We have to know who we believe in. And Come we're going to be challenged. Yes. Come on, talk about it. Talk about we're it. We're going to be tested. Come on. And oh, it's through the test yes. that lets you know where you're at. Amen. Mm. Now, there have been many resources provided. During this pandemic, yes, people have had food banks, they have had clothing, right? They, they're building shelters, right? But the most trusted resource mm. is the word of God, is the word of God, my God. That's our most trusted resource. Why yes. do you say that? 
is because Jesus lets us know in Hebrews 13 and 8. What does it say? Hebrews 13. Jesus and 8. Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. And what does Malachi 3 and 6 say? For I am the Lord and I change not. Now we go, we got a, 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 an election coming up. And we may have someone change in the White House. Come on. But there's one thing that God never does. God never changes Come in on. his house. Come in the on. holy hill. He's consistent. Yes. Hallelujah. God does not change. Ooh, what does uh, Revelation? Geez. See, we, we got to get this. We got to get this. Uh, it doesn't my matter. God, my 2021. God, my God, it was my a testing year. Yes. It was a trying year. Yes. Hallelujah. But one thing about it, regardless of 2020, God never changed. Yes. He's the same God that was in 2019. Yes. He was the same God in 20, 2000. He was come the same on, come God. On, come God on. never changed. Because look at Revelation 1 and 8. What does it say? I am an Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the beginning and the end, said the Lord. Which is and which was and which is to come, glory to God, the Almighty. We serve a mighty God. Come on here. Come on here. Talk about our God. We serve a mighty God, a God yes. that was above all, a God that was before all, a God that's conquering all. Yes. Because why? You were built for this. Yes. This is your time. Somebody said, Well, why am I going through? Why have that I live? I've never lived through a pandemic before. Come on. That's now, true. Now, I've heard about. The, you know, the various diseases and pandemics uh -huh. in times uh -huh. past, uh -huh. but that was times past. Right. I'm talking about right now. Come on. See, come I got to live this day right now. Right I got to get through this right Ooh, now. And God Jesus. is telling me that I was built for this time right now. Yes. My uh, God. My, 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 my. Look at God. Psalms 89 and 34, sir. My covenant will I not break mm. nor alter the things that is gone out of my lips. God is a man that he can't lie. That's right. 23, 19 says, read it. Come on. Let's God go. is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken and shall he not make it good? Oh, that's just good news all by itself. All right. Amen. It says, my covenant will I not break nor alter the things that have gone out of my lips. Right. His word is what's gone out of his lips. Right. You can count on God. God is not a man that he oh, should lie. Oh, my God. He's not a man that he should repent. Oh, like my God. God said, you can make it. Hallelujah. Yes. You can make it. But yes. God says, trust in him. Trust in him. Come on here. Trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean and not. And lean not. Woo, this is blessing God. me this morning. Where Bless are you leaning today? Oh, my God. My Which God. way is the needle going? Come on, that's good. That's good. Hallelujah. We can be the Bible says we'll be steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. We right. gotta be planted Come like on, a that's tree it. Gotta be that's planted. planted by the that's rivers it. of that's waters it. that says that I shall not be moved. Come on. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, Come on. I cannot be moved Nothing. because I that's was it. built for a time such as this. Ooh, what a word this morning, Lady Hawkins. Oh, Hawking. my Lord, my Lord. Use a God. Use it's getting, a... It's getting me happy. I'm getting oh, happy. I'm getting God. happy up in here. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Hallelujah. That's Sunday, good. Lord. Because oh, God, God wants us to know that we are built for we this. We are built for this. That's right. Ooh, what a word. This is powerful. Uh, this is powerful. You have to learn how to shut down that negativity. Come on. Come on. Because people aren't where you are. Come on. People don't know who you know. Come, woo, teach, teach to And if you know that God will bring you out before, you yes. best to know that God's going to bring you out now. He's going to bring me out. Oh, my God. He's this, going to bring me out. The Bible says that this is the faith and the confidence that we, that have, we have in him and right. he will hear our prayer. Right. Ah, uh, the scripture is so encouraging that because it says, bow down thine ear and hear the servant's prayer. Right. And then it says, while well, we're yet speaking. He's already done it. He's, he's already, already, he already done it. He's already done it. Do you have the faith to hold on mm. until he actually comes? My God. What and you know, I, I heard a word this past week that there's a lesson in the note. Mm. Sometimes it ain't gonna always be yes, and sometimes it's not gonna be the way that we should think it should be. Correct. But we should trust God anyway. We should trust God enough to know that He has a perfect plan right. for our lives. Right. That's good. That's good. Teach today. Teach You're today. You're built for this. Yes. You're built for this. Yes. Second Peter three and nine, sir. Could you please read? 
Amen. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some count slackness, but is long suffering. Come on, to us, uh, toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Is anybody jumping up? If I, if I, let me say, see that. I can't, I can't, let me say, see that. I'm getting excited here. My God. God is not slack <laughs> concerning his promises. That's right. He ain't slow on the go. Come on. Hallelujah. He Come ain't on. no slow leak. Come on. Hallelujah. God is not slack concerning his My promises. My God. As what David a word. was saying. Yes. But, but the part that got me says, but all should come to repentance. All should come to repentance. And that's the pathway to victory. Come on. That's Can I good. pause for a second here? Yes. Yes. God reminded me. I was thinking, oh, Lord, pathway to Victory is repentance. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and he reminded me, it really wasn't until I repented. Come on. That God really started manifesting himself in my come life. On. Come on. Well, some may say, well, uh, you were doing this. You guys were going out of the country. Right. You guys were doing this and right. doing that. Right. Teach, and teach. Seems, Be transparent. The That's natural good. eyes you were doing right. well. Right. Right. That's good. Those were only tricklets. Come on. Come on. It was when I really repent. Now really I wasn't repent. going out there. I wasn't. I wasn't doing adultery. I right. wasn't causing somebody to do fornication. Right. I wasn't stealing the church money. I wasn't doing none of that. Right. But what I was doing, I was out of place. Come on. I was geez. not allowing my husband to be the husband. I was not talking to my children in a loving way that they could be able to receive the word of God and receive correction. Because you can't correct when you're angry and you're bitter and you're mean and you're nasty. Come on. And so God was revealing to me, unless if you want to keep the trickles going, you keep doing what you're doing. But if you repent, I will give you the flow. Wow. God wants to flow in your life. God yes. wants to bring a blessing. Yes. He wants to give yes. you more than enough. But we have to take the time out mm. to repent. And it's oh, not that we're out there doing what we call the big sins. Amen. But it's even our thought life. Come on. This is good. If I, we have to bring those thoughts down into captivity, right? Those things right. that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. And what is that? Those things that go against the word of God, right? That's good. That's good. Again. I had to repent. Right. That's good. Hallelujah. Because that's the pathway to victory. What? That's the pathway to victory because God is wanting to bless us. Eyes have not seen. That's it, right. Come on. Heard, come on. Come neither on. Neither has it entered to the heart of men the things that God has prepared for them that love them. And the Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my That's right. That's right. God come to through. remind come us through. that. Hey, That's it. Come on. 
Good word, good word today. Bless us today, Lady Ooh. Hawkins. Bless us today. See, great women and men don't quit. Come on. Come on. Don't quit till God gets us to where he wants us to be. All right. If we know that we're falling short, we cannot use those shortcomings as excuses. Right. Because excuses right. are, hallelujah. As you say, what do you say excuses are? Nails that builds houses of failure. I wanted to get that right. <laughs> Amen. I want to mess that up. <laughs> Amen. Because we have so many excuses and, and so many failures because some of us are suffering. Lord, we have caused, we have so many self Inflicted wounds that we've done. Oh my God. Because Talk we've now. strayed away. We've been derailed. Mm. We've been derailed. Mm. We've been derailed mm. in our own thinking. We've been derailed. Yeah. Hallelujah. In our own way of doing things. Right. But God is right today. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a faith check. A faith check. It's a faith check. A faith check. How do you respond when your faith <laughs> is challenged? Mm. What a word today. What a word. Read, sir, 1 Timothy 6 and 12. Amen. 1 Timothy, glory to God, 6 and verse number 12. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 1 Amen. Timothy. Uh, fight the good fight of faith. Yeah. Lay hold on eternal life. Uh-huh. Whereunto thou art called and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses this is a faith fight do you get frustrated mm -hmm. feel defeated or thinking about giving up come on when your faith is challenged my god you gotta shout no no why because i'm built for this i'm built for this that's right that's right people might not understand me right people might not know what i'm really going through Right. But you got to shout for yourself. You got to declare for yourself. I am not going to get frustrated. I will not be defeated Ooh, because I Jesus. am built, built for uh, this. this. That's right. That's right. See, God explained to me that the pain and the pressure that you're going through is pushing you to your next destiny. It's pushing you. It's it, pushing you. Feel a little That's push? it. Come on. It's pushing you. Anybody feel a little push? Push me, Lord. Push me, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to be pushed to, the ne to my next destiny. To my next level, right. Hallelujah! Breaking right. out of self, Amen. Putting put back on the Potter's will and getting some stuff cut Ooh, off and Jesus. broken off. Come on, here. come on, come on, the I'll Word of God, God, allowing the Word of God Thank to be the two-edged sword, yes. and we can get the Word of God Monday through Monday and not have anything cut off. Come on, that's good. Talk, you have talk, to receive talk. the Word of God right. as it has been preached, Hallelujah, through the Word of God. All right. It says the word of God is sharper That's than it. any two-edged sword. Yes. Hallelujah. So it is meant to change us. Come on. And see, when we get a cut, hallelujah, Talk there's some it. healing Talk that's going to take place. Anybody ever been cut? Amen. Yes. Even a paper cut sting. Yes. Amen. Amen. In, huh, yes. Even a paper cut sting. Amen. You know the cut is there. Come on. Amen. When the word of God hits your spirit, you should know that the cut is there. Mm. Um, yes, sir. Ah, my, 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 my. Yes, my God. Thank you, Jesus. My, 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 my. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Ooh, you, this Jesus. This is an exciting word. I don't know about you, but yes. I'm telling you, yes, God is, is feeding me on today. Yes, he is. Lord. Yes, it is. Me, Lord. Oh, yes, God. God. King Solomon here encourages you to a greater commitment and resolve by telling you that you can succeed. Uh huh. No man likes adversity. Come on. Which is affliction, difficulty, hardship, or danger. Uh huh. All men would choose to avoid it. It is easy for anyone to resent it, but it truly measures your strength. It measures your strength That's and your good. faith towards God. Uh huh. Wow. Are you gonna give up on God? Come on. Because it gets tight. Right. Are you gonna give up on God? Because it doesn't look like there's no way through. All right. Amen. You got to su submit yourself unto God in the ways of God. All right. Hallelujah. See, it's through adversity that best proves your integrity and perseverance. All right. Hallelujah. My God. Now, without adversity, how would you show your strength? You could talk about it, uh -huh. but talk is cheap. Talk is and cheap. And that's one thing that God is saying in this virus, in this pandemic, that talk is cheap. Oh, you got my. to be who you say you are. Oh, my. Talk oh, is cheap. Oh, my. What a word. What cheap. a word. Talk is cheap. You could believe that you are strong, but that's even more deceitful. You could tell the Lord you would never leave him or deny him, 
but the trial of your faith is going to possess what you really believe. All right, it's good. This is good. My Hallelujah. God, Look it at is this. the adversity ah. that exposes false profession. Ah, talk, talk, baby, It's adversity. It's adversity that exposes false profession. Yes, of stony ground here. So take heed. Mm. My God, my God, my God, my wow. Lord, my wow. Lord. Wow, wow, uh, wow, wow. Uh, oh. Now, my God. I, I'm, my not, God. I'm not crazy to think that we live in a bubble. Right, right. It's a lie to think that Christian life is going to be easy and there's no, not going to be trouble. Right. But what I am saying, when trouble comes, you got to know that you're more than a conqueror. You right. got to know that you're built for this. You're built for this. Could you please, sir, read Job? The fifth chapter, verses six and seven. Glory to God. Although affliction cometh not from the dust, neither does trouble springs out of the ground. Verse seven, yet man is born into trouble as the sparks fly upward. Glory to God. Amen. Ask Job and Moses and David or Paul. <laughs> Amen. That's Hallelujah. <laughs> the advantages of, of a Christian is God's promises to help them through adversity. Right. You're going to have troubling times, but you have help. You have Why? help. That's it. Because you were built for this. My God. Uh, could you please read Psalms 34? Comfort us. Amen. Many of the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers what? them. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But who? But the Lord. No, but my but Navy Federal. No, but the Lord. Wells Fargo. No, but the Lord. Bank and Trust. No, but the Lord. Chase Bank. No, but the Lord. Bank of America. No, but the Lord. Does what? Delivered him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones. No, not one of them is broken. What does it say in uh, Psalms 24 and 16, sir? For a just man falleth seven times and rises up again. That's where that repentance comes from. Yes. You can rise again. You can rise again. Uh -huh. You can rise again. You don't have to go to liquor. You don't have to go to drugs. Right. You don't have to go to sex. And right. so you can look unto the Lord from which cometh your help. Yes. And all of your yes. help comes from the Lord which created the heaven and the earth. My God. My you are built for this. Please. See, God allows adversity to prove your faith. It proves your faith. As he did with Job. If you don't talk here good, he talk good. You will to see <laughs> how much you rely on him right. rather than yourself. Right. It proves your faith. He will find out how right. you value him compared right. to the things in your life. Right. Do you worship him only for a protective edge, as Satan said in Job? Will you still worship him when you have lost? When you, lo when you lose it all. Good God, it proves your faith. It proves your faith. Good, this is good. This is good to me this morning. Can you read Job? Job 1, uh, glory to God, 9 through 11. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Duh, uh, Does Job fear God for naught? Mm -hmm. Number 10, has not thou made an edge around him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the works of his hand, uh -huh. and his substance is increased in the land. Well, but for, but put forth thy hands now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse thee to thy face. Amen. Many of you know the story. Uh huh. But you know the end too. Come on. And the end result is that Job got double for his trouble. That's it. He had more Come on. than teach, he had. Teach, teach to me. Teach. At the end of the adversity. See, That's right. Did at the beginning, at reverse. That's it. See, God allows adversity to increase your strength through trials. Right. Much like boot camp in the military. This is one thing. If you don't get anything else, and I want somebody to please put this in the comment. Faith is not built by prosperity, but rather by adversity. What? Faith, Faith is, is not, not built by, by prosperity, but, but rather, rather by, by adversity. adversity. Come on. Woo, we got to stop looking at adversity as a bad thing. Come but on. it's there to build our faith. Good God. 
What a word this morning. We bless God. Yes, wow. yes, wow. yes. Faith wow. is not built by prosperity, yes. but rather by adversity. Yes. Because, see, God's purpose is to perfect you. Right. And so we should, hon, I on, don't good. like this, but Come this on. is the truth. Come on. We should appreciate, as ah, you said, that's it. difficult times come on. when they come. That's it. Glory to God. We got to put a new lens on right. trials and tribulations. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. In fact, we can find <laughs> it in Romans 3, Romans 5, 3 through 5, and James 1, 2, and 4. And, you know, and, I, and it just really hit me. I, I'm usually used to hearing this in James. I didn't even think about it. It was in Romans. Come on. Go ahead and read this the same scripture. Romans Glory 3, to God. 5, 3 through 5. What does it say? Glory to God. Romans 5. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Romans 5, 3 through 5. Glory to God. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation, also knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, glory to God, experience, and experience. Wow, this is good. Hope, glory to God, and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're supposed to glory in tribulation. Right. See, see, one thing about, oh, one thing about trouble. Look at Revelation. revelation. Let Revelation it's come. It's got the work. You got oh, God, your give a revelation in tribulation. To That's it. Give it to me. That tribulation work is patience. So right. You got to know that there's something after this. Right. Even oh, after this trial, God. There's something after this, yes, you are God. built for this. You are right, built right, to be able right. to make it. Whatever comes next, Come on. you are built for this because right. there is a next. That is a next. That's it. Oh, you can't go that ahead. There is a next. Go ahead, Lady Hawkins. What a word. God. God. There somebody. is a next. Yes. My God. My God. Oh, glory there to is God. A next. That is a next. But you are built you for are this. You are built for it, though. Glory you God. are in the right time. Uh, you are in the right place. Yes. You are in the right season. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. God is using this pandemic. Come on. Amen. To prove us. Hallelujah. That's it. To Come test on. Us. Yes. Amen. To let us know we got to rely on him. Yes. He told us that faith is not in prosperity, but it's in adversity. It's in adversity. That's where the faith is built. Yes. You, know that you are built for that. Oh, God. Yeah. God, I feel like running. Glory to God. Go ahead. No, that's the truth. Glory but to God. You know, Apostle Hawkins. Yes. There's no running in the house. Oh you my God. That's one of the rules. That's one of the rules. There's no running in the house. My God. Amen. God. Amen. God. Amen. Woo! Amen. Glory to God. Could Look at this. First Corinthians 10 and 13, sir. There has no temptation taken you, but such as the common to man. Uh -huh. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able? But glory to God, with but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Woo, Jesus! You can bear it because you are built. You're built for this. For this. You are built to maintain your integrity. Yes. You are built to be stretched out of your comfort right, zone. Right, right. That's what you you're built for. You are built for this. Hallelujah. Ooh, this is good teaching today. Go ahead. God, for God is faithful. Yes, he is. God is faithful during this time. God is faithful. God is faithful. Yes. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is God faithful. Is faithful. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Glory uh, to God. Yes, Glory yes, to God. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. God is faithful. Yes, yes. he is. Yes, he is. And, and, that's, and that's the great thing about it. That's the great thing about it. Yes. Is that God will never leave you nor, nor forsake you. you. Yes. Mm, Lord. Uh, Friends may leave you. Yes. But God will never leave God you. God will never leave you. That's it. Come on. And you got to lean towards the heart of God. Yeah. You got to lean towards the ways of God. That's it right there. Even in adversity. Even in adversity. Preach, Lady Hawkins. Ooh. I tell you. Glory to God. What a you. word this morning. I, I just I just want to say this. Say so Glory God. to God. Glory that, to God. That, that we are, ah. we, we, we are just, we don't know the position that God has just placed us right. in. In this pandemic. Right. We, we really don't know where God is. God is 
elevating us. God is launching us Come on. Into, a, into a new sphere. Come on. Into a new sphere, into a new atmosphere. Atmosphere, that's I right. I went through trials and tribulations. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we can't escape. We can't escape. We can't wow. escape. Tribulation. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. My it's not God. gonna happen. It's not God. gonna happen. Oh my God. Hallelujah. God is mm. faithful. He's faithful. Yes, he, he is. Wants, uh, my God. My God. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap my this up. God. Right. I'm help going us, to the help us, here. Help Amen. Us. Here are the ways many lose God's strength and the faith in trial. Uh huh. If you seek your own deliverance. Come on. Come on. When you're going through. That's it. Teach you. If you seek your own, own deliverance. deliverance. That's it. You got to be careful with your own deliverance. That's it. You're not trusting God. That's it. That's it. Come on. If you lose your confidence in God because it didn't go the way that you planned. Come on. You couldn't control it. The Bible says, that's what I'm going to say. The Bible says that God is sovereign. Right. Right. That's There's it. no one higher than God. Yes. He has to swear by his name. Yes. He is matchless. He is peerless. Yes. There's no one like Jehovah. There's Come nobody on. like our God. Yes. You cannot lose confidence in him. Mm. If you complain. Wow. And you know complaining is a sin. Come on. You got to do this without what? Murmuring, Murmuring and, and complaining. complaining. That's right. And instead of praising God, amen, you're putting God down. Come on. You're putting others down. Come on. And my pastor told me that this would right, work. Right, my, right. my pastor told me that this would work. Right. My overseer said that this would work. Right. The word does work. You That's have it. to work it. You got to work You got to trust God. That's my it. God, hey, when, when the way that you want it, the way that you don't want it, hallelujah, you got to trust God. You can fight through disappointment. You can fight through defeat. And you will not be defeated. Come on. What a word this morning. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Because you are built for this. That's right. Mm, Glory, glory, glory. Now is not the time to backslide. Come on. That's good. This ain't the time to backslide. Come on. That's good. I know that there are many people who are not having in service church. All right. All right. And, and for various reasons. Amen. We understand that. Right. But if you are the church, this is not the time to backslide. Come on. Amen. Come on. You get connected. I don't care if it's a prayer line. Come on. I don't care if it's a YouTube. I don't right. You need to get that word in yes. you. You got to still die daily. The requirement didn't change in a pandemic. Hey. Come on. Say that today. Glory to God. Requirements didn't change. <laughs> Glory to God. The requirements didn't change. <laughs> Glory to God. Ah, oh, my God. My, my God. Lord, my Lord, God. My Lord, my Lord. The requirements didn't change. It didn't change. <sighs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. It did not change. Say to God. Yes. Faith can defeat adversity. That's right. That's right. Faith can defeat adversity. adversity. That's right. You have to put on the eyes of faith. Right. My God. Put on the eyes of faith. Yes. Yes. My God. Wow. Don't get weary in well doing. Yes. You yes. gotta reap. If you come on. If you faint not. If you faint not. That's You're gonna it. reap. That's it. You gotta conquer. Come on. You gotta subdue. Come on. You gotta be victorious. Come on. If you faint not. If you faint not. Keep believing in God. Yes. Wait on the Lord and be of a good courage. But He wow. shall strengthen your heart. Yes. God is who He said He is. Yes. I just want you to know that you were built. This. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. And if you receive this word on today, I want you, glory to God, to put the word amen, amen. It is so. It is so. Amen. Amen. It is so. You were built for this. Why? Because eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered to the heart of man what God has in store for you. You were built for this. Glory to God. I thank God for the word of God. I thank God for the woman of God. She, glory to God, spoke a word. Amen. Glory to God. 
Lady Hawk, because I'm telling you, the God used you in a mighty way on this morning. Amen. And it's up to us to receive this word. Good morning, Brother Eric. It is up to us to receive. Amen. Glory to God. This is not just for some, but this is for all of us. Amen. Adversity. Amen. Glory to God is the only thing that's going to strengthen your faith. Many people, glory to God, with religious, glory to God, antics will say, glory to God, uh, glory to God, you must have done something wrong. Glory to God, Job had not did anything. Nothing. Glory to God, Job had not done anything to glory to God, get what he had, but God allowed it to happen. Glory to God. We got to get away from that religious antics and those religious statements and all oh, the devil, glory to God, he must have been did this, he must have done that. I'm telling you, Lady Hawkins, I thank God for God using you in a mighty way on this morning. Glory to God. Many times, glory to God, we look, glory to God, amen, at certain situations and we <laughs> we say this and we say that, yeah. but we got to know that God is using you, glory to God, to the glory of God. He's using this situation. He's using this circumstance. He's using this condition yeah. to, for that he may get the glory right. out of your life. Amen. I'm telling you what a powerful word on this morning. We thank God for Lady Hawkins. You and I were built for this. In other words, you're going to make it out of this. And glory to God, when you make it, glory to God, we give God all the glory and we give God all the honor in Jesus' name. We bless God for each and every one of you on today being with us. We love you in Jesus' name. Now, remember, we're praying. We are a prayer ministry, and we're praying for you on this morning. If you desire prayer, glory to God, we have a prayer now number, and that number is 910-324-4887. If you desire prayer, somebody to touch and agree with you, amen, in Jesus' name, amen. We're here to do just that. If you, glory to God, like this message, we ask that you would share it. Amen. I believe that this needs to go all over the world. Amen. This kind of word needs to yes, go God. all over the world. Amen. No bias. I'm grateful for you, Lady Hawkins. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. God is raising up. Now, again, that phone number is 910-324-4887. Remember, we are on all platforms, YouTube, amen, IG. Glory to God in Jesus' name. We thank God for what God is doing in this pandemic. Even in a pandemic, yeah. we're able, glory to God, to see the glory of God. Let me say that again. Even in a pandemic, we're able to see the glory of God. There is a maturity that is happening in the land. Amen. And we have to be willing and ready to walk in it. Maturity does not come. Glory to God, without obstacles, without situation, right, right. without circumstances. But maturity comes, amen, we know where we stand, glory to God, when we go through, amen, in Jesus' name. I'm excited about this season. Yes. Even though, glory to God, we recognize, glory to God, things have come and people have gone, but we're believing God, that God is raising up a people that is going to stand not on their belief of glory right. to God alone, oh, but Jesus. on the word of God. Yes. Glory to God. I'm grateful for the word today. This word will stand up against anything. Glory to God. And I'm grateful for that. The word of God right. changes situation. It's the word of God that will make us whole. Also, we have a conference call. And I'm grateful for this conference call. That number is 605-313-6040. And that code is 294471 pound Sunday at 7 p.m. Tonight at 7 p.m. People are getting saved. People are getting delivered. People are coming back to the call. They're coming back seeking the Lord. They're coming back surrendering their lives. Glory to God tonight at 7 p.m. Monday at 12 p.m. Monday at 7 p.m. Tuesday at 4 p.m. Wednesday at 12 p.m. Yeah. Thursday at 7 p.m. Friday at 12 noon. People are coming back. They're asking God. To, they're rededicating their life. Yeah. They're giving their life back to the Lord. I'm grateful for this conference called Prayer 9. Amen. In Jesus' name, I thank God for this prayer line. And then on Saturday at 7 p.m. Listen, there is awesome things that are taking place 
And I'm grateful. Amen. We thank God for the Honest County. Glory to God. Clergy Association. Thank God for all of the leaders. Glory to God. That glory to God that have served with us, that are glory to God submitted, glory to God, and doing, amen, awesome things even in a pandemic. Remember, I told you, adversity builds our faith. Lady Hawkins told us, adversity builds your faith. Stop looking at adversity in a negative way, but we must rejoice, amen, when adversity comes in Jesus' name. Listen, I want to also encourage you. Amen. If you are giving and have not given, amen, uh, glory to God, we pray that you would sow into this word on yes, today. Yes, amen. Yes. You can sow, amen, through our cash app, amen, the cash sign, T-L-I-L-M. Yes. We desire your support. We desire your support. We need your support. Yes. We need your support in Jesus' name. You can give through PayPal. Yes. Amen. And again, uh, you can go to our website, True Life IF. Uh, uh, glory to God, uh, glory to God, true light, IFM, amen, glory to God.com, and you can give under the more tab, amen, that debit card, you can call that nine, same number, 910, glory to God, 324-4887, amen, if you desire to give, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, you must give, amen, glory to God, I pray that you are given on today. We thank God for those that are giving, amen, those that are blessing, amen, that we are being a blessing to this community, amen, in Jesus' name. I'm grateful for you, in, amen, in Jesus' name. God bless your heart. May God forever keep you, and may God forever, amen, do what he said he'll do in Jesus' name. In amen. our closing remarks, A Hawkins, do you have any? Just know that you are built for this. Wow. God bless you. Thank you all for tuning in. We love you all. And one thing that really stood out, that faith is not built in prosperity. Faith is not built in prosperity. That's right. God bless you. You're built for this. God bless you.